Hello everybody, today we're going to be going over how to adjust the voltage on your power supply for your arcade cabinet. Alright, a couple things that you're going to need are one, the manual for the pinout for JAMA. This is just a standard JAMA pinout to let us know where our, where our ground is, where our 5 volt is, and where our 12 volt is. You need... We'll go over this one first, a uh, potentiometer adjustment tool. You can buy these on Amazon or wherever. Um, <clears throat> don't use a screwdriver, by the way, because that's metal and conductive. These are non-conductive, and they have a small tip on the end for adjustment. You're also going to need a multimeter capable of doing uh, DC voltage. If you look on there, you will see... There is a uh, a V with a little tilde or a little wavy line, and that's where you're going to test the voltage. <clears throat> On that multimeter, there's a red and a black probe. The black is your ground. The red is your uh, positive or your 5 volt, your 12 volt, wherever you're going to uh, attach it to there. All right, we've got our JAMA edge, uh, and you can see... Uh, that on this, there it is. There's uh, right, here we go. There's an empty uh, space in there where nothing's connected, no wires connected. If you look on here, you'll notice that there's a part side, there's a solder side, and that's for the respective side that uh, the PCB has, where all the parts are and where all the soldering is done. And uh, you'll see that there's a black bar. That's a key. So if you look on your PCB over here, you'll see that there's a slot where there's no uh, connector. That's the key. So whenever you put this together, you want to make sure that whatever side it's in goes on the keyed side. So you can see that this is keyed, and on this side all over here is where your power and your ground is. And you'll connect it as such. Alright? So, also, we have a somewhat typical arcade power supply. This is a uh, a Sega one, a 400-5261. And you can see that right here is a voltage adjustment on there. So you would stick this inside, and you would uh, go clockwise, which is this way. Uh, oh, here, I'll show you this side. This way to increase, and this way counterclockwise to to uh, decrease the voltage. Right. <clears throat> All right. So let's get that out of the way. Inside of there, you'll see this is another one. This is uh, another power supply. This is from a Vulix. Or a or a, or an Atomus wave I can't quite remember. Um, where you could see there's 12 volt ground, three uh, th uh 3.3 volt and a 5 volt adjustment here, and the same thing will go with with all these. I'll go over JVS after that's your 3.3, but we don't need to worry about that for now. This will show you like what the what the poten uh, the potentiometers look like. We call them pots for short. There's these little blue guys right here. I don't know if that's a great uh, quality of capturing it, but that's the best I could do right now for the to be mobile like this. But anyway, <clears throat> let's get to checking our voltage. So the first thing you want to do is you want to test the voltage of just this to make sure that. When you plug something in, it's not going to pop it or blow it up or nothing, right? And what we want to do is we want 5 volts exactly or damn close. <laughs> All right, so what we're going to do is here, we'll put that there. <clears throat> we're going to turn on our volt or multimeter to volts DC, which you could see right there, volts DC. It'll stay up there somewhere in the corner on there, DC, and you want it, you know, one integer with a decimal point 
right? And you want to ha you want to have you know the tens and the hundreds. You want if you a good multimeter will show you up to the hundreds or more. <clears throat> All right, so we're gonna have that like that. That'll show you here. Perfect. And remember, like I said, we have our red, which is our positive, and then our ground. And we're gonna go if we look and consult the GMA pinout. We've got here ground. So our ground's going to go to one or two. It doesn't matter. And then our red is going to go to three or four because that's the, the five volt that we're looking to measure. All right, so we're going to do that. <clears throat> we're going to put the pins, put the probes inside. Uh, Show you like this. And you want to do this very carefully because the pins are, could be fragile, and uh, and we're going to one and four. You want to very delicately and make sure that you're on the proper the proper uh, pins and only those. So we're going to turn it on and we're going to test. Five point two. That was close. I felt it move, so I had to shut it down. Let's do it again. Uh, actually, you could even go on the outside of here. On the outside, inside, if there's, if you could see exposed brass, brass, uh, in, excuse me, inside. Probably hard to see, but take my word for it. All right. We'll check by these. We'll turn on the cab and we'll test 5.23, right? Pretty good. All right, so now we could power it down. <clears throat> and if it wasn't, uh, this is close enough, 5.2. That's all right. I would, I would put it down to, uh, to 5, but I've already tested this and put this PCB together, and this accommodates for the power draw of this particular PCB which I'll get into in, in, in the future very soon. All right, so we're going to set this up, connect it. Remember, the key is going to go with the keyed position on here, number seven. Oh, somebody, just, somebody just subscribed to my channel <laughs> on, on, on Twitch, which is pretty cool. Thank you, whoever did that, or followed me, for, for that matter. Um, so we're going to... Put together like that, making sure that it's matched up with the key. You can see the empty spot with the key, number seven. All right. Make sure everything's lined up. Oops, sorry, I have to put that there <clears throat> to get that in. All right, so it's in now. So now we're going to power it up again. And you should get... Yep, we got a... Uh... A video there we are beautiful looking good that means that we have uh, enough voltage to power this but let's see which exactly it is uh, and I bet you it's lower than that 5.23 that we had before all right so now what I'm gonna do let me try to get this so that see so what I'm gonna do is there's there's pins or exposed parts of the JAMA edge right here, right? On the PCB itself, right right over here where you could see. Right? Those little brass exposed parts. So we're gonna we're gonna probe directly on those on pin one and pin four. Right? You could do one and four or two and four or two and three or one and three. Uh they're all they're all the same for what they are because ground as we see here Ground is on pins 1 and 2, and 5 volt is on pins 3 and 4. Also, if you were doing it upside down, God bless you. I don't know how you'd be doing that, but you could also check from there. <clears throat> All right. So we're going to do that right now, and we're going to see what that, what that voltage is right now. So make sure, because when, when we power a board, we want um, 
this board to be 5 volts exactly or as close as humanly possible. So remember, we're going to take our black probe and put that to the ground. All right, and then we're going to take our red probe. I'm going to probe either three or four. I'm going to do four because it's nice and easy. 4.96. So that's pretty damn close. I'm actually happy with that, and that's good. We could just run our cab like this, and our PCB will be nice and safe, has a healthy amount of voltage, and should be ready to go. Now, if, if it was too low, then you would need to go in there and you would need to increase the voltage up from that voltage adjustment potentiometer and you would need to turn clockwise very slowly and watch as that voltage rises up to a, to a, a, a safe level, a level of 5 volts or as close as you can get. 4.96 for me, I'm happy with that. Uh, some boards will run lower, some boards... Uh, require exactly five. You need to uh, just check for yourself and make sure that everything that, you know, everything's working and everything is at or very close to five volts. So you could also check your 12 volts, which is your sound, <clears throat> and by doing the same thing. So you're gonna look in reference, you have your ground pins, and then you have the 12 volt pin, which is pin six, which is right next to the key. All right, so we'll do the same thing by hooking up our black probe to ground and then our, our red probe to the 12 volt, which is at 6. <clears throat> so 1, we got, and then 6. 11.94, we're damn close to 12. So that means we're, we're good. We're in tip-top shape, ready to run this G-Net and play some Darius, uh, some G-Darius. All right, so thank you guys very much. Hopefully that uh, this could help a lot of new members and uh, new new members to the arcade community and how to properly <clears throat> maintain and function their cabs and their PCBs. If you enjoyed this and it was helpful, uh, you know, leave a like. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube. <clears throat> YouTube, well, you're already here, so you would know that it's on Borderline. You could also follow me on Twitch. Where I stream live at Twitch TV slash I'm Borderline. Uh, I'm also on Instagram and Twitter at I'm Borderline. So thank you guys very much. Oh shit. Uh, and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.